Hey folks, Bolt Matrix here, and Punch Counter Punch needs no introduction. This Power of the Primes figure comes with this weapon, which isn't really his gun. Thankfully, my good friends over at Non-Neff Productions have come out with this cool little set that contains the weapons for both his Autobot mode and his Decepticon mode. And these are exact replications, or almost exact replications, of his original G1 weapons scaled up into the Power of the Primes version. The Autobot gun works incredibly well in this mode. I love the look of it. It's got the double barrel action going on there. Works just so well with his paint scheme. And it's just a nice touch. Now, the Decepticon mode or any other gun that has a 3.5 millimeter peg on it can fit right on the top. Or it can be mounted for multi-action with his original weapon, which you could just peg in right here on top. Yeah, the styling is a little different, and the coloring of the plastic is a bit different, but I think this works. I like it a lot. Let's look at the Decepticon version. The Decepticon weapon, or the Decepticon's version's weapon, works equally well. Unfortunately, it does not have a little peg at the top, but again, you can just peg this guy onto the top of the Autobot weapon. One thing I have noticed is that the handle is just a smidge too big for the left hand, ah, because you really have to push it into place. Nothing a little bit of sanding won't fix. And I do have to sand the top of the black weapon. It's just the nature of black plastic, unfortunately, but I still like it. And Either, you know, either mode can hold both of the weapons, so he's really not missing anything for weapons, thankfully. While you can store the normal weapon under the vehicle mode, you can't really store the additional weapons under the vehicle mode, but you can put them on the top with no problems, and you actually end up with this neat little possibility of, you know, pointing one gun in one way and one gun the other way. So that is a cool touch, though I just kind of leave them pegged in together and hunkered down in the middle. It works well. I would have loved there been, to have been a way that you could plug it into the sides, but unfortunately, Punch Counter Punch doesn't have any peg holes on the sides. Oh well. This non neff weapon set is totally worth picking up. For the few dollars that it cost me, I am super happy that I got it. No, this was not provided for a review. I bought this out of my own pocket, and it's totally worth it. Head over to nonneff.com to pick it up for yourself. And be sure to hit up Nonneff over on Twitter at nonneffprod. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.